It's actually happening, folks. I don't know how or why, but it almost happened right in my face. I would say that light was done. I was literally just walking back up after that crash. Everything seemed fine. And all of a sudden it just went poof. Now I don't know what the fuck to do with it. y'all um, I, I already can't remember if I vlogged it this morning but I'm pretty sure I have not but anywho I just stopped for my morning packs at the park and was gonna take it well I was taking it real easy just flying around a, because uh, of a video I watched not too long ago, or no, a podcast, the FPV Show. Shout out, FPV Show. Love that podcast. It's my favorite one, by far, and I've listened to them all. Um, somebody on there, I can't remember who it was, said just go out and practice flying right, you know? Sometimes cut out the tricks and just fly. Learn how to fly smooth and better and blah, 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 and... And that's what I was doing. That and also because my morning had been going so good that, as you all know, it only lasts so long. My luck is always good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. And there's no black or right. It's like real good luck and then BAM! Something super shitty happens. But then, thankfully, usually, something as equally awesome happens. You know, like the fireman getting my quad out of the tree, the the dude in the middle of the field finding my quad that I thought was way in the woods. Um, you haven't seen, well yeah, you should have seen, uh, blah, blah, I'm talking about vlogs that haven't even been edited and uploaded yet, but the other day I got my quad stuck in a tree again and was able to knock it out with, uh, with, uh, fucking my dress shoes. And then I got my tree, or my tree, I got my tree stuck in a quad uh, a couple weeks ago that should have been in a vlog, but it was part of the where I went, disappeared. And I found a, uh, a one placard sign for uh, for uh, the baseball sign thingy that looked like it had just been abandoned in, in the grass forever. Um, if I can find video of that, which I'm pretty sure there is, uh, I'll put that in. But, uh, yeah, I was just cruising around, and because of that stupid Alcam Plus, man, 
it is pretty shitty during the day because gaps are real hard to judge and, and uh, you get blown out a lot and the shadows are pitch black and I know I can adjust all this to at least make it a little better but I haven't got a chance to yet but apparently uh, yeah that stupid big ass uh, antenna I had sticking out of the top caught something as I was coming through one of the things and and ripped it right off along with uh, the innards of the pigtail for the TBS Unify so I believe I can just get a new pigtail and slap it on there but I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to do it like steel does and hot glue that bitch down and then put some tape over it but then you know that makes me think well shit uh, well, that just, uh, will that just destroy the whole VTX if it ever... Well, for starters, I'm going to not have a giant antenna sticking straight out of the top of my quad ever again. Because that was ridiculous. And I knew I was playing with fire. And uh, I eventually got burned. So, yeah, that's the, the shitty part of uh, the TBS Unify. Is that uh, I'm not out $18 like I am when I fuck up my cheapo crazy pony VTX. I'm out $35. Uh, that uh, I'm contradicting myself now because I'm pretty sure I can just get a new pigtail which is hopefully only like $5 so if that's the case that's even better than the cheapo uh, crazy pony BTX that I use on my other quad but anywho oh yeah and uh, I had my first lipo vent can't believe I forgot about that already I was literally walking back after the crash. Everything seemed fine. I thought the battery felt kind of warm, but I'm used to my batteries feeling warm. And uh, I was just walking back, and I literally had it at eye level like this, and I was just looking at it, uh, checking everything over. And all of a sudden, it just went poof. And I was like, holy shit. And thankfully, it didn't just burst into flames, and I was able to just unstrap it and get it off the quad and kick it on the ground. and and uh, literally sprinted to go get my phone to go get some footy of it, um, which you have seen. Uh, or maybe I uh, will do some finagling with editing and, and put it in later, but anywho, I'm spoiling all of that by talking about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I didn't know what to do with it at that point. It had stopped smoking and whatnot. The whole thing didn't burst into flames. Uh, just one cell let go on it and they have a big cooking trough thing at the park that they they do like chicken roasts and stuff like that during fairs and stuff and there was bricks inside of that so it's a big steel thing with bricks inside of it and I just put it in one inside of one of those cinder blocks in there I'm gonna go pick it up after work but of course as soon as I did that and I was I just jumped out of my car went and did it and jumped back in my car there was a guy right behind me in a truck that I didn't even notice, and he's probably all like, what the fuck is this guy doing? And I was gonna jump out and be like, hey, I'm just putting this there until after I get done with work, I gotta go, because I'm late already as of right now uh, because of that. Um, but obviously I didn't want to put that thing in my car, and I didn't know what else to do with it, so I found the safest spot. There's no way it can cause any harm to anything because it's literally inside of a steel box, inside of a cinder block. So that thing ain't gonna hurt no, nothing. And uh, I'll get it after work, hopefully find something to do with it. Because I've got like four other lipos that I need to get rid of safely. And um, yeah, anywho, I'm rambling, I'm late for work. But uh, my luck is staying true to the course. Have a real good morning, and uh, at least I had one good flight. Uh, wait, no, I didn't even. I didn't even. But yeah, I did. Yeah, because uh, I ripped one pack, everything went smooth that pack, then I ripped another pack, got halfway through it, and was like, wow, this lipo is dead, like dead, dead, good forever, and I just stopped, took it out, threw it in the back of the car to keep it away from the rest of them, because I believe I have a graphene uh, cell uh, battery that's the in about the same shape 
And uh, yeah, I gotta figure out what to do with those damn batteries. And I have some old three cells that are just sitting around and another spent four cell. Yeah, I've got like six lipos that I need to figure out how to dispose of properly. Um, yeah, that's it though. It was, it's, it's been an interesting morning. Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah, my luck was good. Had a real good morning. Everything went great with the kid. My batteries and everything charged right as I had to leave on time. Everything was going great. Then I get to the park and all this shit happened. So it's, it's how it rolls with me. And I'll see you later. Hi, y'all. Uh, Farfignugan. I am beat. I've been baking in the sun all day, and apparently it's 87 degrees. I'm the last one to leave this place, and it's only 5 o'clock. Uh, yeah. Mowing lawn and pulling weeds all day. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, my brain is fried, but I still have a working quad. So I'm gonna go see if I can rip a couple packs and go home and finish this damn vlog that I've been editing for two days. And it's gonna be way too long, but fuck it. It's not like anybody really watches them anyways. I'm not just gonna cut out all the best shit because it's so long. I'm already at 10 minutes and I haven't even gotten to the part where I flew the Maverick at the park. But you'll see all this crap, or at least somebody will. Sean Dolan will. <laughs> That's about it. And he's having fun in Muncie right now, that bastard. At least I think he is. He should... No. Wait, no. No, he's not leaving until tomorrow. Either way. I'm still jelly. Hashtag super jelly. Oh, yeah. I'm beat. I'm gonna go see if I can break another quad. I'll see you later.